Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Mornings and Money FM. So glad to have you with us. I am uh, I am recuperating in my home studio in uh, in the Cavanaugh Road, uh, Newton District of Singapore right now. Feeling great. I've had three uh, negative ART tests in a row now this week. So I am on the mend and should be out of COVID jail uh, early next week. Uh, feeling good, Neil. Uh, great to almost see you. I can't. I can't see your picture, Neil. On uh, nobody Facebook can Live. see me. Nobody can see me. Oh, it's all about you, I can, you, I can my see friend. you just a minute ago. Isn't that strange? It's all about you. Dan the man is literally having kittens off camera at the moment. <laughs> He's trying to fix it as we speak. I said, Dan, I'm ugly enough. As long as the radio is up and running and we can well, see Mr. COVID, we are all fine. Now let yeah, me ask you this. Let me ask yes, you this. Um, well, first things first, welcome back to Singapore. Yeah, You've thank been you. in the U.S. seeing your family. Tell us about the trip because many of us obviously haven't been anywhere. A handful of us have. I want to know first, what was the VTL experience like? Yeah, look, I'll, I'll try not to bore everybody with, you know, my tales of my holiday and all that because I know I'm very mindful of the fact there are lots of our, our great listeners were not able to get out of town or chose not to uh, for uh, for health reasons. And I and I totally respect that. But um, as, as I'd mentioned before, it had been between four and six years since we had seen my family and my wife's family. We just uh, we had to go. And um, there was that window, you know, when we were booking the flights several months ago uh, where things were looking pretty good, right? And they opened the VTLs and all of that. And it, and it wasn't until we were actually on the trip that Omicron really started uh, rearing its ugly head, unfortunately. But we spent a total of three weeks in the U.S. The VTL flight to uh, the U.S. was great. Did the Singapore Airlines nonstop to JFK. Um, fantastic service. The flight wasn't full, but it was, you know, getting there and uh, had, a, had a great time. We had to do our pre-flight um, departure uh, tests, you know, which just before we had uh, gone, the U.S. demanded a 48-hour window on that, so we had to do the express tests. We talked about that in our show in December. Oh, there you are, Neil. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Um, and then uh, coming back um, the day before we left JFK, all of us were negative on our ARTs uh, that we had to take before getting on the flight. And then during the flight, our daughter started to feel a little bit off, a little bit of sore throat. And by the time we got to Changi and took a PCR test, uh, she uh, unfortunately tested positive uh, and was immediately put on the um, isolation order at home, the stay home um, notice. And I have, to, I have to praise the Singapore government for coming up with this scheme to, um, to get well at home for those of us who are not seriously um, uh, sick. Uh, you know, have serious symptoms of COVID because it has just been a, a lifesaver. And then on day three, my day three supervised ART test, you know, we have to do seven days of ARTs at home. My day three uh, on my supervised test, I was diagnosed positive as well, which was exactly a week ago today. So been cool on my heels at home, isolated at home, very thankful that our symptoms have not been uh, strong for myself or my daughter. My daughter's completely free and clear as of yesterday. Uh, I think I'm going to be there early next week. And we uh, we are, again, ever mindful of many people that are still being hospitalized, uh, quite a number of deaths uh, around the world uh, due to Omicron and the regular Delta uh, variant. Uh, so um, we're very pleased and happy that we made it back safely. Just talking to a friend of mine this morning in the U.S. before coming on the show, and he and his entire family are stuck in New York because uh, coming back to Singapore because one of them tested positive, unfortunately. So now they've got to cool their heels uh, in New York until um, they're able to fly back to Singapore with an all clear. So there are a lot of those stories happening. And um, so, uh, yeah, getting better. Thanks to everybody. I had a lot of well wishes on uh, uh, private messages from friends and many of our listeners. Uh, thank you for all of your, your good wishes. Feeling great. Have felt great the whole time, to be honest with you. Uh, so uh, now I'm just relaxing at home and uh, looking at the magic that's happening there in the studio, Neil. Well, <laughs> well, I would just like to thank you for bringing COVID into Singapore. <laughs> and for making my life a living hell. No, it's all good, my friend. The most important it was funny. thing is just to emphasize again. I mean, we're going to talk about <laughs> Mr. Djokovic, I suspect, several times during this show. We'll be talking yeah, we about it with did. Steve. It's, it's in the news <laughs> section. It's in the sports section. 
And that'll be our question for the day to kick things off. What are your views on Mr. Novak Djokovic? Sympathy for him or sympathy with the Australian government? Let us know on Facebook Live, which I believe is up and running. It could be wrong. I might be wrong. It's one of those days. But if it is up and running, send us your comments. What do you think about the Novak Djokovic situation? Any sympathy for him? No sympathy for him? Or is, does your sympathy lie with the Australian government? Because I want to come back to your point, Glenn. One mm. thing I have noticed, um, you know, it's in the news today. You mentioned it in your news section there. COVID-19 cases cross 300 million globally. Yeah. And Three. the subhead says, plus one, Glenn Van Zutphen. That's on the front page of the Straits <laughs> Times today. But no, just, I did not em- make the front page of the Straits Times, ladies no, and gentlemen. Didn't. Let's clarify that right now. Go ahead, Neil. <laughs> but it just emphasizes, well, you should have done. You should have done. But it just <laughs> emphasizes the point again, A, where would we be, my friend, now without science, without those vaccines, point one. And two, we've got to, we've got to stay on our guard, haven't we? We can't let this thing slip. Yeah, the uh, look, the the government's discussion over the past, what, six months about learning to live with COVID. The PM's talked about it. Lawrence Wong has talked about it. Everybody's talked about it. And and we're at that point now. We got to figure out how to deal with it because, you know, we've heard about this new variant that's popped up in France now. Not a lot being said about it, but yet uh, the, the jury's still out on, on what that's looking like. Uh, THU, I believe, is is what it's been called so far. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But um you know, we got to figure out how to live with it. And I think one of the, the really positive elements that has come out of this in Singapore has been the get well at home, um, heal at home program that the Ministry of Health has come up with uh, because it just makes sense. Right. You know, there's no need for quite honestly, folks like myself and my daughter to go into a quarantine facility or even a twenty five hundred dollar a week hotel uh, for um, for recuperation when we can just do it at home because our symptoms are so mild. So I think that's part of our new reality of living with this. And, and that's what it's going to be going forward. Uh, no, so we, I agree we completely. Good. Yeah, that's we, good. We and that's good the most that. important thing. And I wanted to say, sorry to talk over you there, but I wanted yeah, sure. to ask, how's your wife and son? I mean, they should go out and buy 4D. How can they be in the same house <laughs> yeah. and not catch it? Well, uh, yes, it's true. Kat and Max uh, have been testing negative the whole time. Uh, I will say that, um, you know, Kate and I have been very careful to stay in our respective rooms during this time. Uh, you know, we have gone out to get a bite to eat or whatever, but, you know, masked and, and staying away from everybody else. So uh, it's not like we, you know, we haven't had a, a little bit of flexibility around the apartment, um, but uh, we've been very careful and they have been totally negative the whole time. So uh, that's been great. We're, we're very thankful for that. Mm. 